A lot of people are obsessed with airplanes. They're cool, they help you travel a lot faster than driving, and they make you literally fly. What's not to love? And not only are passengers in love with the planes, the designers are too. So every once in a while, either due to necessity or extravagance, we'll end up with an airplane that's definitely out of the ordinary. Don't you want to see these insane planes? Well, stay with us here at The Hub, and we'll show you the jaw-dropping airplanes you won't believe exist. Before we blow your minds, click to subscribe to our channel and turn on the alerts. How else are you going to see airplanes this shocking? Lockheed Martin P-791 Let's start this list off with something big, shall we? In January of 2006, the test flight of the first airplane on our list took place in a test facility in Palmdale, California. Well, it's not exactly an airplane, but more of an experimental hybrid airship. Yep, the Lockheed Martin P-791 was originally developed to be a civilian cargo ship called Skytug. Its bizarre shape and massive size would make most people scratch their heads. Imagine looking out your window and seeing this thing floating through the sky. It can carry around 20 tons, and there are plans to make it even bigger. If you haven't seen one, no worries. There are 12 of them currently in existence, and there will be more very soon. At the Paris Air Show in 2015, Lockheed Martin said that their aircraft had passed all certification and were currently accepting orders. The current plan in place is to begin delivery starting in 2018. If you wanted to ride in the P-791, you can do that too. It has capabilities to transport up to 19 passengers and two crew members as well. Northrop Grumman B-2 The next selection in our list has been around for years, so a lot of people won't be shocked at first. But the Northrop Grumman B-2 has a lot going on under the hood that makes it seem almost unbelievable. Officially created in the 1990s, rumors existed for years before the stealth planes just like this that were basis for rumors about UFOs in the past. And it really could be true. An airplane like this usually takes decades to develop. And if you take a good hard look at it, it seems like it shouldn't even be able to fly. It has no tail, no rudder, no fuselage, and really none of the traditional methods used to keep a plane upright. Instead, highly advanced computer systems are in play in tandem with the expertise of the pilot. Only highly advanced military pilots are able to use these bombers, and with good reason. It's the only U.S. aircraft with that large of a payload, is long range, and uses stealth. Plus, it can fly over 10,000 nautical miles with only one aerial refueling. So, the B-2 could show up anywhere in the world relatively easily. Airbus A380 Custom Now let's jump from military craft to leisure, because the next airplane is one of the most expensive to have ever been built. The Custom Airbus A380, owned by a Saudi prince, cost over $485 million. Spending that much money is no small feat. You have to get truly creative to even think of ways to make it cost that much. But when you're swimming in money from being an oil tycoon, you have the time. Here are just a few of the crazy things on board this plane's three stories. There's a garage, meaning the prince can just drive directly onto it instead of dealing with pesky stairs. There are five master suites with king-size beds and 20 guest rooms that are better than most planes' first-class seating. But it gets much wilder than that. There's a concert hall with a baby grand piano and a steam room too. And finally, there's a well-being room which projects the plane's outside surroundings onto the floors, making it appear as if you're floating. There's enough amenities on this plane to live lavishly for your entire life. And this prince only uses it for transportation. Dornier 335 During World War II, the Germans were able to create some truly odd military planes. One such plane was the Dornier 335 a two-seater airplane known as the Aero. What made this airplane so unique was its superior performance to other two-engine planes at the time. It had a push-pull layout with front and rear engines that made it Germany's fastest piston-engineered aircraft of World War II. Front and rear engines? That's definitely enough to make you stand out. The first Allied combat encounter with this aircraft was reported in April of 1945. A French pilot claimed to have seen it flying at a low altitude around treetop level. Shockingly, he said that when the German aircraft detected him, it was easily able to get away from the Royal Air Force fighters in the area, even though they had the upper hand. Despite their master craftsmanship and speed, 
Only one of these incredible airplanes exists to this day. Aero Space Line Super Guppy. If you showed a picture of this next plane to almost anybody, they'd assume it's fake, and it'd be hard to blame them. With its odd dimensions and distorted shape, it looks like something a graphic design student would dream up. Not a real plane, but this is a real aircraft, known as the Super Guppy, or SG for short. It was originally built from the fuselage of a military version of the 1950s Boeing 377 Stratocruiser passenger plane. How did it get such an interesting name? Well, the first version of the plane was called the Pregnant Guppy because of how closely it resembled, well, a pregnant guppy. Spot on, right? Its entire purpose is to haul cargo that's bigger than the average. For example, in 1968, it was used to transport the Lunar Module 3 for NASA's Apollo 9 mission. Apollo 9 was the third manned mission in the United States Apollo space program, so being trusted with such precious cargo is incredible. And let's check out the huge stats of this plane too. The Super Guppy was 143 feet long and its wingspan was 156 feet. Scaled Composites White Knight 2. Our next selection is a jet powered cargo aircraft that has one of the most unique looks on our list. The White Knight 2, built by Scaled Composites in 2010, was created to lift the Spaceship 2 spacecraft into acceptable altitude to launch. It was a second version of their obviously named White Knight and is actually over three times bigger than the original. Even though its task is incredibly cool, it also has a lot of other capabilities as well. For example, it could be used for passenger training for zero gravity. It could be used for testing in high altitude or microgravity space flights. Or it could even launch other payloads other than the awesome Spaceship 2. Another useful task it could be used for is as a forest fire water bomber. It truly can multitask more than any other aircraft on our list. Billionaire Richard Branson ordered two of these airplanes for his spaceflight company Virgin Galactic. And we think that was a pretty good purchase. The White Knight 2 has a payload of over 37,000 pounds. Nobody knows for sure how often passenger space flights will occur but we do know that Richard Branson's company is ready to be on the forefront when they are common. Russian Billionaire's Boeing 767. Now we're going to switch from an English billionaire to a Russian one. Roman Abramovich is a businessman, investor, and politician best known for his ownership of the highly popular Chelsea Football Club, which is a Premier League soccer team. With over $7.6 billion in the bank, he is reported to be the 13th richest man in Russia. With cash like that, you've got to fly in style, and that's exactly what he does. Roman was able to deck out a Boeing 767 and in the process created one of the most expensive planes ever built in Russia. In fact, it's said that the plane is on par with Air Force One. You know, the plane the United States President flies in. Also like the Air Force One, it comes fully equipped with luxurious items and safety features like missile jammers. Mr. Abramovich must be pretty popular. Inside the cabin of this Boeing is decked out as well. It's outfitted with chestnut and decorated with gold. And did we mention its nickname? Affectionately called the Bandit. Roman obviously treats his airplane with care and love, like it was one of his children. Nemeth Parasol. As far as weird aircraft goes, more and more are being created every day. Engineers and inventors are always thinking of new ways to be efficient and carry more cargo. But all these designers are basing their ideas on years of existing aircraft. That's what brings us to the Nemeth Parasol, a shockingly weird aircraft that never became a household name. The reasoning probably has something to do with the strange look of it. When it was first test flown in 1934, it was marketed as a plane that would be difficult to crash if the engine stalled mid-air. And in an attempt to prove this, the pilot and inventor, Stephen P. Nemeth, stalled it and let the plane float harmlessly to the ground. The idea behind it was that anybody could fly the plane, after only around 30 minutes or so of teaching. If given the opportunity, would you give it a try? Sadly, this design never caught on and only the prototype was ever created. But the sky sure would look a lot different if Nemeth parasols were the standard. McDonnell XF-85 Goblin After World War II ended, the world was on its toes. 
America, Russia, and many other countries were looking for ways to keep their defense relevant as the battle for superiority raged. One such idea was the McDonnell XF-85, or the Goblin. This airplane was a 14-foot long and 8-foot tall craft that could only carry one pilot. It was an American prototyped aircraft designed to be dropped from the bomb bay of the Convair B-36 bomber. The American military wanted a way to protect their precious bombers if they had to fly towards the Soviet Union. The McDonnell XF-85 was a tiny plane that in theory would be deployed and attack any other planes attempting to shoot down its host plane. After experimenting with the plane, the US military have decided that it didn't quite fly well enough to be used full time, so it never went into regular use. Even though it was canceled, the concept was still pursued for years. The MD-160 The final airplane on our list is so weird looking, it's so impractical, it could barely get off the water. But the MD-160 definitely left a permanent mark on the history of astonishing airplanes. The MD-160, or as it's known, Ekranoplan, was used by Russian and Soviet natives from 1987 to the 1990s. The idea behind them is simple. It's to be used as a dual warship and aircraft. This experimental idea was the only one ever created. Although another version was planned, it only reached around 90% completion before the government pulled the plug. We assume that one version of this monstrosity was more than enough. It was equipped with six anti-ship missile launchers and four PI-23 turrets. It could only be lifted off the water around 12 or 13 feet by using ground effects, and its eight engines in the front propelled it along. This airplane ship hybrid also had the nickname of Caspian Sea Monster, which we think is very accurate. If you ever feel the need to see this unique transportation, it's been decommissioned and is now sitting unused at a naval station. Good luck! and take some pictures while you're there. You can now unfasten your safety belt because our video on airplanes you won't believe exist has landed. Thanks for watching The Hub and check out more of our videos if you want to see the latest cool facts. Bye bye.